Hey guys, Deval here for ToyWorldOrder.com. You know, it's been a while since I've had the chance to review a new Captain Action figure or costume set, and seeing as we're right on the verge of new costume sets being released for both Marvel characters and DC characters, um, you know, it's also fitting that we're nearing the end of the convention season, and as we've had a ton of conventions this year so far, I mean, we've had San Diego Comic Con, uh, every Wizard World Comic Con, uh, Boston Comic Con. Uh, oh my God! There's so many Comic Cons. I'm surrounded by Comic Cons. Get, get, get. <sighs> there's one left, and that is New York Comic Con. And at New York Comic Con this year, Captain Action Enterprises of Round Two are bringing out a brand new exclusive that you can well you can buy at New York Comic Con. But there's also a chance for you to purchase it outside of the con too, and I'll tell you that here in a little bit. But with this exclusive, they decided to do something a little different. Um, you see, in the 60s, Captain Action got uh, a couple of different display boxes, and one of them showed off the many costume sets available for Captain Action. Um, and our good little buddy, <clears throat> Dr. Evil here... Watch this, watch this, watch this. Yeah, That's right, he killed Captain Action. Our good buddy, Dr. Evil here, never got a box that actually showed off the classic costume sets. Um, well. Round 2 and Captain Action Enterprises have decided to change that, and at New York Comic Con this year, you will be able to purchase this awesome New York Comic Con exclusive Dr. Evil in a brand new display box that features some classic villain costume sets coming out. Now, of course, the box features the Dr. Evil logo up at the top, as well as this awesome, awesome new rendition of Dr. Evil, and of course, we get these great uh, little little images of the Doctor's uh, costumes. Of course, Red Skull, which we knew were coming, uh, Loki, which is already out, the Joker, which we knew was coming, and a big surprise was this Silver Age Brainiac, which is very cool. Um, I love the costume choices coming out for Doctor Evil, and I think these are going to be really great. Of course, down the bottom, you get the uh, get the New York Comic Con logo there uh, splashing down at the bottom, which is very cool. And along the sides here, You've got the uh, you've got the Doctor Evil logo, and of course, an awesome in image of Doctor Evil there, uh, the Captain Action logo, up, or actually the Doctor Evil logo, up in the corner here, which is very cool. Um, and then on the back, on the back is where it gets even better, because of course you've got the you've got the bio here for Doctor Evil, and you've got some information here on the Evil Doctor. You've got this great image of the toy itself, and then down at the bottom, you've got some great costume, you know, more images of the costume sets here, as well as the Captain Action logo down at the bottom. Now, what's cool about this, and while this is the prototype, like I said, this this is the prototype, and you can tell that because if I open this very carefully, oh so oh so carefully here, you can actually tell that how flimsy this is. Watch, and of course, this has just been glued uh, to a, a flimsy box just to give. Uh, round two and Captain Action Enterprise is an idea of what the finalized product would look like and then take some pictures and such. Um, why they trusted me with the prototype? I don't know. I'm a little frightened because I have a prototype in my hands. I, well, mind you, it's just a box, but still. Uh, but of course, while this is the prototype, the actual version of this will be made out of sturdy material. It will actually be made out of the material that was used to make the boxes for the deluxe version. Uh, the collector boxes that were in the deluxe versions of Dr. Evil and Captain Action. So the, this will be a much sturdier box made of that same material. What you find inside of said box once you open it, of course, is Dr. Evil himself. Uh, this figure is pretty much the same. And, well, there's nothing different about this figure. Um, he comes with his pendant, which uh, will probably be in a bag down here. And this one, he's just kind of sitting here. Uh, and then inside, once you take the good doctor out, there's actually going to be, uh, I'm sure it'll be a little bit more sealed than this. This is actually just uh, the accessories from the Deluxe Doctor Evil put together in a baggie. But um, these are all the accessories that came with the, the actual Deluxe Doctor Evil set that I reviewed here on the site. Uh, but what is included are all the little goodies that actually came with the Deluxe Doctor Evil. So you've got the you've got his, his his Dr. Tracy mask here, which is very cool, uh, which came with uh, both versions of it. You have uh, his gun, his trademark uh, laser gun, which is cool. You're going to get the two-piece hypnotic eye here. Of course, it comes apart. 
at the bite at the base there, and the swivel eyelid here that opens and closes so he can meh, meh, meh. that's my noise for hypnotizing. Uh, you also get some of the stuff that you could only get in the deluxe version, such as the two interchangeable brains, which of course if you've seen my my review of Dr. Evil, the interchangeable brains is a nice little touch because the original brain comes out and you can then place one of these other brains into his head just like that and interchange the brains inside to give him uh, different powers and different personalities which is kind of neat. Put the original brain back in mind there. Set that aside there. Nope. And you get the extra disguise piece uh, that will basically cover the blue on his neck. Um, that's a very nice piece. That was one of the reasons why I wanted the deluxe version more than any because I wanted this extra disguise piece. Um, very cool. The only thing you won't get that you've gotten in the deluxe version, of course, is the blueprints for the hypnotic eye. Uh, and that is, uh, that is not a big deal, really, when it comes down to it. That is what you get in this deluxe set. But there's also some extras. You're also going to get three collector cards. Uh, and to surprise some fans, uh, you may get some randomly inserted sketch cards with original sketches on there of the characters uh, from these collector cards, which is very cool. Anyone who's been collecting this line hardcore, who likes this line, this is probably something you would want to seek out. And I had mentioned that there uh, there is a way to get it outside of New York Comic Con, which we'll get to in a second. I know you're like, just, just gnawing at the bit, like, come on, Duvall, tell us. I'll tell you in a second. Let me put this guy back together here very carefully. Again, prototype box. Again, trusting Duvall with prototypes. Those guys at uh, round two Captain Action Enterprises love me, but I didn't think they love me that much. Let's just put that there and there. Put this box back together here really carefully. There we go. Now there is some uh, differences between this prototype box and the final design box that you're going to get from New York Comic Con. Uh, namely, the Joker image down in the corner. Uh, the Joker image here is very cool, but on the actual one, they actually chose to go with a very cool image uh, of the Joker done by the classic comic book artist uh, Carmine Infantine, uh, which uh, Infantino. I always say Infantine, it's Infantino. Uh, who unfortunately passed earlier this year, but still one of the, you know, well, here, I'll give you an example. Uh, Joker. So let's, see. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Hold on. Uh, so you've got Oldos, and then you've got. Ha! The new image with uh, from Carmine Infantino. Uh, very cool, uh, as well as uh, has inks by Murphy Anderson on that. Uh, very cool Joker image, which is, uh, let, let's get the ha, magic of editing. Yeah, beautiful thing. So you get that, that's cool. So that's really the only uh, couple major differences between the prototype and the actual one that will be available in a few, few short weeks at New York Comic Con this year. Um, so, I, uh, you know what, I'll tell you now, <laughs> why not? There's a way for you to actually purchase one of these if you're not going to New York Comic Con. Now these are going to run $79 and will be available in not only the Captain Action booth at New York Comic Con, they will also be available at the Midtown Comics booth and the Action Figure Express booth at New York Comic Con, but they're only limited to 350 pieces and that's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. On a first come, first serve basis for hardcore Captain Action collectors out there, you can actually send a check to Dr. Evil New York Comic Con exclusive variant uh, to Captain Action Enterprises, Attention Edward, at 656 Windermere Avenue, Ridgewood, New Jersey, 07450. And those are first come, first serve, and will ship the 2nd of October. Now, if they run out of the ones that they set aside, and they did set aside a very, very small amount for the hardcore fans and collectors out there who can't make it to New York Comic Con. So, uh, if you do send a check, which, again, here's the address. I'll leave it up for the rest of this video so you can write it down and jot it down. Uh, it is a $79 check. Uh, they did, like I said, set some of these aside for those collectors out there who want this figure and cannot make it to New York Comic Con. Uh, so make sure if you're going to purchase this, you get those checks out to them immediately because they are on a first-come, first-served basis. You know what, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go play with Dr. Evil and Captain Action. And, uh, pew, pew. 
and send this prototype back. That's probably the best best course of action. Maybe I'll play with you guys later. Oh god, I killed Loki! I'm gonna take this down now before other bad things uh, happen, which tend to happen with me. I'm gonna go send this back, guys. Uh, take care, hope you enjoyed the little look, and uh, I'll see you soon-ish. Um, as long as nothing happens to this and uh, the mob doesn't come up me down. Mm-hmm. <laughs>